Yeah. They're going to try to initiate here on Quas. Mm, let's see if they've got the control he's to do so. He's got BKB. And he's got the ice fight. He's got the BKB off. He'll be able to turn. Get oh, a nice four-man Sonic wave. The wall is down as well. But the BKBs are out for Na'Vi. Magical moving on to Tiger. That's going to be the dark seer. Gone still thinking anything more of it. Mickey can now try and fight without the worry of himself being static. Link Koifa has been doomed though. It's Blizzy straight in. Slams him down with the Infernal Blade. They've got the control from Incendia though. The light is out. Blizzy surely will fall as the tower hits into him. Magical also falling low. Boxy's oh, there with the wraparound. Boros strike onto both Magical and Crystallize. Magical's dead. Crystallize. He's going to go down as well. As Alliance may have lost two, but they're going to have all the solutions ready to go. He's going to catch somebody. Oh. Ah, Boxy's going to turn that. He's going to try and jump in onto Blizzy. Static Storm is down. Blizzy's able to pop the BKB Ooh, turn. To Gets the doom out onto Mickey. Mickey in a whole world of trouble here. Stone comes through from Chew. That's going to be Mickey dead. Boxy yules himself up in the air, but he's incredibly low. Boros striking an attempt to get away from everything, and he is still alive for now. They'll turn towards Zero Tiger. Insania, though, with these ults, they're controlling Navi. It's enough to control Crystallize. Snake as well getting locked down. As Elias, they've found two. Uh, Boxy jumps in with the epicenter onto Chew. Navi, they're going to lose four. As Insania again, these. 15 seconds they could have bought. They could have actually potentially spoke much of it. Jump in as well for Blizzy. He's uh, on top of Koifa. Koifa is able to get oh, the Yules off in time. He's up into the air. Magical. Oh, he they don't get the kill. As they turn, Sonic waves out. Burst down the Doom. Insania has got the ults out as well. Look for the control. And that's going to be oh, enough to hold one. Magical down. There's the drag vacuum as well into the second Will O Wisp. As there's a buyback oh, from Blizzy, but Crystallize is down. Boros strike forward onto Seneca. They've lost the Disruptor. They'll be able to kill off Magical a second time. I mean, it's just almost impossible for Na'Vi to push into these ults. The, the Will-O-Wisp, it's just too damn strong. If Tiger, there's a lot of backup here from Alliance on the high ground. Decrepify keeping Tiger safe for now from the physical. She's going to get the jump in onto Insania. Drags him in. Mikkei's coming in with the wraparound, trying to get on top of Seneco. Seneco has got the heal, but it's not enough. Seneco will fall. Insania being looked towards by Crystallize. It's a one for one so far. Chu trying for the TP out. Mikkei's on top of him, will kill him before he's able to TP back to base. Now Crystallize has to get himself deep inside of a creep. Will jump his way back out. Magical's also there, though. Has the opening Dragon Tail turned onto Mikkei. The follow up from Blizzy jumps in with the blink dagger. They've got the kill on PL. Mikkei's out and down. And now Boxy surrounds us as the chase continues. Na'Vi, they won't just find three, they'll get four. Boxy's out. Great. So we make the most of that. I will allow them to take the racks pretty damn quickly. Look at this little damage on Chew. He's actually going to initiate onto Box straight away. The dragon back. He is going to be decrepified by Koifa. The attempt to keep him alive, but it's too much damage. They ripped through this. That was, that was a bristle back. He just disappeared. Yep. He's out of the fight. He's not going to want to buy back because there's no real way well, he's going to buy back. But it's going to take him a long time to get over here unless he has some sort of boss. Or, oh, okay, he's got a Chen. My bad. Chen's going to be able to bring him over. As Tiger will fall, though, it's going to be too late, maybe. Boxy's in, but they've got no Tiger Earthspirit. They're already a man down. Mickey getting Just surrounded. Dying. They've got the stuns. He's going to be able to sneak out of there with the Invis. As he'll be Glimmer Kate, able to get back to safety. Boxy surrounded. He's looking to be a dieback potential on this Bristol if Alliance can't keep Boxy alive. Divine Favor will not be enough regeneration to keep Boxy going. As Boxy dies back on the Bristol, Mickey surrounded. Navi, they should be able to find the PL. If they jump forward, Blizzy, and they can. Blizzy's in on top of him. One more doppelganger. Mickey still trying his best to run back to safety. Another Dodges doppel. Are... He's continuing to stay alive, but finally goes down. That's both. Bristleback and PL out without buyback. Tiger has, but without these two bonus. When was that change? When they changed Retaliate? Uh, yeah, yeah. around there. I think. Oh, look at the sun down. Oh, well, well, he's still the the stun's three hits. pretty sweet, but it's still three dragging hits. Tiger in. He literally delayed killing the Chen to get an extra hit in. I mean, that's you don't want to build damage items on the bounty because you can't steal from the dead in this game. That's true. You don't want to kill them too quickly. In fact, he wants his damage to get stolen by Quake, but that's why they picked it into the Razor to counter themselves so oh, they can true. get more money. Now look towards Boxy. This time, Na'Vi, they're the ones to win the fight. They've already found three again. Got some gold this time. It's the power of the light, the Ignis Fatus. As uh, Quaifa will be chased. That's a hard catch, though. They, got I mean, the snack on they can there. track him, but who gives it? Okay. Oh, right. maybe with Blizzy. Oh! Okay, that'll say. It doesn't matter, though. He's going to retrack and chase now. He is still very dead. Get one more hit on him for the money. Yo, Blizzy. That's 80 net worth swing that you tell on my phone. That's all. Mid lane Na'Vi, the magical pushing in, looking for the tower. Mikke, he's trying to have a bit of a poke at it. Crystallize already around in the back lines. They've killed Tiger. The light ball's going to be down to control. Mikke, Mikke's able to wait for him out. Quite for going straight towards Blizzy, stealing the damage with the static link. Seneco in potential trouble, but Magical gets the stone gaze off. He's going to freeze Mikke and Boxy. Mikke and Boxy both falling low. Mikke's dead. The stone gaze allowing them to kill off the Morphling. Boxy will manage to get out, but Koifa, I don't think he's going to be quite as lucky as the snowball connects from Chu, crystallizes in the uppercut from Chu as he gets his money stolen and his life taken. Koifa dead and out for the count.
So I, I think this is what Navi was kind of planning all along. We didn't see it until now, but if they combo the Medusa ulti with the Caudal, like we're expecting, yeah, you, you get frozen, and then you take so bonus good. physical damage. So then you put a Bounty Hunter carry on top of that. You're amplifying your damage with your ulti, and you're getting a big crit, or and you're getting a big damage increase from Janata. So he was actually critting really hard there.